My name's Mark, and this is my uh, entry for the Microsoft Robotics at Home competition. Uh, the original motivation for my project arose from uh, worries that I might have um, about uh, my home while I was on vacation. Um, so my project centers around using the uh, Eddie robot as a security guard. Um, so the original idea um, I came up with was that uh, the robot would do autonomous patrolling around the home while running a facial recognition algorithm and uh, then when it detected strangers or uh, unfamiliar people who could be potential burglars uh, I would call the homeowner via Skype and transmit video of the intruder um, and then the homeowner could decide if he wanted to call the cops or whatever. Um, as it turns out um, unfortunately Robotics Developer Studio doesn't have any support for Skype integration um, but um, so basically at this point if you wanted to use Skype in conjunction with RDS you would um, basically probably have to use like Skype kit for desktop and try to port their C++ API um, and it would be a lot of work um, so I determined that uh, for this project, with the amount of time that I had, um, it wasn't really feasible um, to do uh, that part of the application with Skype. Um, hopefully in the future, uh, the RDS team will um, get uh, support for Skype integration, but at this point it wasn't really an option. Um, so regarding the facial recognition, um, I originally was thinking about how uh, if you walk in front of a Kinect that's connected to an Xbox, um, it can recognize your face and automatically load your Xbox profile. So I was thinking about trying to utilize some of that um, built-in Kinect functionality. Um, unfortunately, um, there wasn't any service for that in um, uh, RDS um, or the Kinect SDK. Um, I think it might be proprietary or something, but anyways, um, to get around that issue, um, I ended up using uh, OpenCV, that is the uh, Open Computer Vision uh, Library. Um, I used it previously for a research project here at Berkeley um, that involved uh, quadcopter tracking, so I figured, um, you know, maybe I could use OpenCV uh, for this project as well. Um, so anyways, to use OpenCV, I use this wrapper called uh, EMGU, which lets you use OpenCV um, from .NET languages like C Sharp. Um, the particular facial recognition algorithm I'm using is uh, principal component analysis. Um, it's not necessarily the best algorithm in existence, but it's pretty accurate and it's probably one of the easier ones to implement. Um, I won't go into all the details or uh, the math of how it works, but at a very high level, um, essentially, it takes a set of training images that it knows for sure are pictures of a particular person, and it then uses statistical analysis to generate a set of uh, so-called eigenfaces, uh, which you can think of as basically representing the most common uh, features or components of the training set. Um, and then after that, if you have um, an image of some guy um, and you're not sure um, who that guy is, you can basically try to represent um, that unknown image as uh, a composition of weighted uh, eigenfaces, and you can compare um, the weightings for that to the weightings of the training set images and then basically figure out if the guy is uh, recognized or not. Um, and if you want to know more about how principal component analysis works, um, there are a couple of really good tutorials, so I'll post the links for that in the video description. Um, and then uh, finally, before I uh, go to the demonstrations, I'd just like to make a disclaimer that um, I did not write all of the uh, code that this application is using. Um, a lot of it is open source, um, you know, very dependent on uh, OpenCV, uh, EMGU, um, and I'll post all of the links to the uh, various software that uh, I'm using and that I've modified um, in the video description below. Uh, so without further ado, uh, the following clips show the robot 
doing uh, obstacle avoidance and facial recognition. The robot is uh, currently um, using the Kinect sensor uh, as well as its uh, ultrasonic and infrared sensors to navigate around these obstacles. Okay, so the robot is doing its autonomous obstacle avoidance right now while doing the facial recognition and it has identified me as Mark. So I stopped the robot because it was hard to see the facial recognition output while it was moving. But, um, and, and I also changed the text to red so it's easier to see, but uh, you can see it's identifying me as Mark. Um, and then I'm going to get out of the way and my friend Sagger is going to move in and it should identify him as an intruder. So as you can see it's identifying Sagger as an intruder because his face is not in the facial recognition database. Um, so yeah. So finally I'd just like to say a few concluding remarks about uh, next steps and possible future improvements um, that I would make later on. Um, the first obvious improvement would be trying to get the robot to initiate uh, Skype calls uh, when it detects intruders, so basically working on porting some of the Skype functionality into RDS. Um, and then the second main improvement um, for this application uh, I was thinking of would just be making the facial recognition uh, a little bit better. Um, I mean, it's reasonably accurate, but um, there is room for improvement, um, particularly in low light uh, environments. Um, so there's work to be done on that side as well. Uh, so, anyways, um, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed my video.